guys, Michael Edward here with True Trading Group. What a day today, November 2nd. Um, DRRX, beautiful, picture perfect TTG triangle pattern. We found another one um, way before the scanners, guys. Um, so many members capitalized on this trade, and I really couldn't be any happier with the execution. Let me start this video off by showing you what some people were saying in chat with this DRRX. Here's some screenshots of some messages in chat, guys. Um, just let's go through them real quick. Uh, thanks for DRRX. Just made over 700 bucks on the trade. In at 95. Um, moved the stop loss up to 101. Nice call on DRX. Profited 250 bucks. Sold some at 110. Out at 111. Great DRX. I sold another half. I'm up 300 bucks on DRX. Um, guys, this is just, oh, I was able to get in DRX before my Thinkorswim scanner didn't even scan it. Um, guys, we are all over these trade setups and we're just calling them perfectly. And, and on this DRX, another TTG triangle pattern that everyone, or not everyone, but I mean, a lot of our members capitalized on. Um, as people were selling on the way up, taking profits, people were adding to tier two. Here we got without your talk yesterday on tier two timing because the yesterday I went over in chat on when to add to your position um, in a trade on when would be the opportune times to to start to to scale up your your position when you're getting confidence that you're right. Um, and this member says without that talk on tier two timing, I would have only had tier one. Um, instead made a much greater profit in a much larger position in this DRRX. Um, let's get right to the trade. Let's, 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 let's run through it guys. This DRRX puts in that initial morning high. Here it is. Okay. Then the stock breaks that morning high on an increase in volume. And then what do we do when that happens? You draw this line straight across that high and you look to see if that area now becomes support. Sure. Uh, sure enough. There's your support in uh, DRX above that initial, that initial morning high. And then you draw this little downtrend resistance line across these highs. And the stock makes lower high, lower high as it bounces off the support area. And boom, you get this big explosive move on really heavy volume. Um, and we just nailed it. Now, guys, the reason why I was really confident about this trade, and I actually really liked this trade, was really because the daily chart, it was this gap play setup, okay? It was breaking through these highs you see right here to get up into this gap. I thought if it broke through this high, that the stock would then start to extend up into that gap, and that's exactly what we saw, okay? Um, and I said to everyone, as the stock was pushing and as it was extending, that's why, let's go back to the, at 1046, I said, I would take some more profit on this push. Um, now, this is just in chat. Now, keep in mind, I'm on live audio and I'm talking to people through the trade, but sometimes I'll send the message there in chat so people can read it um, if you're not listening to me. And that 1046 is right here, guys. Here it is. Okay, that's when I said, guys, I would take more profit up into this push because I didn't think the stock was just going to continue higher all day. I've been saying this for two weeks that we're not seeing, we're not seeing this all out follow through all day long where stocks just run all day and they make new, they make a new high around 11 o'clock. They pull in, they then retest that high at one o'clock. They break the high at two, two thirty, and then run into the close and close the high of the day. We're not seeing that type of action in the small cap market right now. The market is very much focused on large cap, especially large cap tech. Apple blew out earnings today after the close that I made a trade on uh, with an options play um, on that Apple uh, Apple's earnings and was just another uh, really great trade. But the point is that I've been talking about for two weeks on guys, take the profit once a stock gives you that initial breakout. And here's that initial breakout. Okay, this is that initial breakout. We're not getting continuation follow through. So when you get this breakout, take your profits. Do not wait for the stock to pull all the way back in because look at what DRX did the rest of the day. That's disgusting, guys. Could you imagine getting long this stock at 91 cents, 92 cents right here, having the stock run all the way up to $1.12 
and then pulling all the way back down to 87. And if you didn't sell anything, this is why I said, guys, take more profit up into this push because I did not think the stock was just going to continue going. Okay, I thought for a second that maybe the stock would be would make a move in the afternoon once it started holding above a dollar right here. Once the stock started doing this, I said, I go, you know what, guys? Keep an eye on this DRX because if it holds above a dollar through lunch, it might make another move in the afternoon. Okay, but I was very specific saying it's got to hold above a dollar through lunch. And you can see before 1230, around 1215, it cracked a dollar and then started rolling over down. And that was just kind of the beginning of the slow drift lower throughout the day. And that's why I say, guys, take take the profit right now. We're not in a market where you're getting complete all out follow through and members capitalize on a beautiful 20% trade on this DRRX. Some people even were buying this below 90 cents. Um, there were a couple of people that were actually getting long this stock in here um, that were able to pull out, you know, 25%, even more. Um, just a really great trade. I'm so happy with the way everyone traded this with taking their profits on the way up. We, we nailed basically the very top of this trade. We could not have traded it any more perfectly. And I couldn't be happier with, you know, what these, the members are saying and, and how this trade was executed today. So really awesome, phenomenal day on another gorgeous TTG triangle pattern. Uh, let's talk about a couple of setups that we're looking at. MTBC. Um, this was a little trade I made in the afternoon. Um, nothing, nothing major, nothing crazy, but um, a nice five and a half percent gain. I'll take it. Um, the stock, once it broke through four dollars here in the afternoon, um, I came on and I said, guys, I really want to see the stock hold above four dollars. Okay, so what happens? The stock starts to hold above four dollars. Okay, once you see that, you can see the stock started to flag. You see this little flag pattern the stock started to make before it made a new high. This is exactly what you want to see out of a bull flag. Okay, this is a bull flag pattern, guys. Stock spikes higher on heavy volume to create your flag pull. Then the stock consolidates on lower volume while the flag is formed and then breaks out of the flag on heavy volume. That's exactly what you want to see out of a bull flag. Heavy volume on the way up, lower volume on the consolidation, and heavy volume on the breakout. I got long this stock at $4.11, sold half my position at $4.34 uh, for a 5.5% gain, and then moved my stop loss all the way up to where I entered the stock so that I, wasn't, I made sure that I didn't uh, take a loss on the other half of the position. The stock ended up pulling back. But what I want to talk now about this MTBC is not so much the 5.5% gain on that little trade. Yeah, it was a nice little trade before the close. Um, but it's the setup on this MTBC because I have a feeling this stock's not done yet, guys. This stock is trading very um, nicely. And I would not be the least bit surprised if the stock did this tomorrow. I really wouldn't. Okay, there's not really any resistance left on the chart. Um, this high up here is five dollars and forty-four cents, but this is nothing. This is not major resistance. Okay, um, you're starting to get a little volume increase here um, as volume starting to pick up here in this MTBC. I have a feeling that we might get a really big um, trading range type of day, like a real strong big candle. Now, if it can hold the candle, it would be one thing, but I think we at least get a move. I want you guys to keep this MTBC on your radar um, because something in my gut tells me the stock is not done yet. I really like the way that volume came pouring in to this stock um, this afternoon. Look at the volume in the afternoon compared to the volume in the morning. It's night and day, complete night and day, okay? So watch to see if this volume increase that we saw in the afternoon today continues and rolls over into tomorrow. If we do, watch for the stock to break through today's high, which is 435. The stock should make a should make a move up to test that five dollar area. And if it gets up to five bucks, who knows where it can go, guys, because I really don't see any resistance on this chart. There's just not. There's just not any resistance on this chart. The stock's got a clear runway. So we'll see how much momentum kicks into the stock. All right, keep it on your watch list again. Great job today, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.